Grief and outrage as the world copes with yesterday's terror attacks in Belgium. The hunt continues today for a third suspect seen here in surveillance video at the Brussels airport. A memorial is now growing in the city center as Belgium begins three days of mourning. Pope Francis held a moment of silence for the 31 lives lost and the hundreds hurt in the attack. And there is ramped up security all across the city from airports, subways, train stations as hundreds of NYPD officers are switched to anti-terror tours. We have team coverage beginning with CBS News' Kenneth Gregg in Brussels. As authorities continue to search for suspects or evidence tied to these attacks, they're still very much carrying out those searches and raids. In fact, during one of those raids, they actually found more than 30 pounds of explosives at an apartment tied to two of the attackers. Authorities released new information about the suspects in the deadly attacks at the airport and a train station in Brussels. They say the man in the middle of this surveillance photo is Ibrahim El Bakrawi, and that he detonated a bomb inside the airport terminal, killing himself and many others. His brother, Khaled El Bakrawi, is accused of detonating a suicide bomb in the subway. The other two people in the airport photo have not been identified. The man on the left is believed to have killed himself at the airport. The man in the hat slipped away, and investigators are searching for him. A raid in a Brussels suburb this morning turned up empty. Security experts say the Belgian police need to do a better job of community policing. They don't know the community right well, and, and they don't get the intelligence they need. In central Brussels, people of all faiths are gathering to pay tribute to the victims. Children are writing messages in chalk, while others are pausing to say prayers. Here in Brussels, we, we are safe, and uh, I think we, are, we will always live in safe place like this. This morning, people in Belgium and in cities across Europe pause for a moment of silence to remember the victims killed in the deadly attacks. Transportation in the city is slowly getting back up and running. The airport, however, was closed all day today and will be closed again tomorrow. Reporting in Brussels, Kenneth Craig, CBS 2 News. Here